Hi, I'm Mordechai Becher. Welcome to the Gateways Parsha Vlog. Uh, a slightly different environment here. Um, I'm at uh, Shiv University, so uh, here in the um, Berner Revel Graduate School Lounge. Uh, hence, it looks and sounds different, and there's a bit of an echo here as well, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I was walking uh, home with uh, my son, 13 year old, uh, from Shul, and uh, it was, of course, snowing and freezing cold ice. It was just, it was terrible. The appalling weather we've had. Um, and uh, just one thing which I heard on the uh, radio regarding climate change is that it may affect and will affect cocoa beans in South America, which could raise the price of chocolate significantly. And if that does not give you reason and arouse you to do tshuva and repentance, just hearing that chocolate prices may rise, I don't know what will. Um, anyway, uh, getting back to where we were. Uh, so we're walking home and um, we see the house and he comments to me how it's always a great feeling when you're free, it's freezing outside and it's snowing and you see the house with the lights on and you know that inside it's nice and warm. Inside the heating is on and it's nice and there's no ice, etc., etc. And, uh, and that is a, it's a great feeling. Uh, but I feel that that feeling is not only in terms of the actual physical temperature, Celsius, Fahrenheit, etc. I think that's a feeling we need to cultivate uh, in our homes in general. Uh, that um, a member of the household should see the house as a warm, inviting place. Should see it no matter how horrible it is outside, no matter how cold, hot, etc., etc. They see the house, they see the lights, that's how it is. And that's, I think is one of the ideas of the Mishkan, the tabernacle that we're talking about in the parasha, um, and the temple in Jerusalem, and the shul, and the truth is every home um, th should be some place that we look at and see that as an inviting, warm, wonderful place. That's a place where I want to be to get out of the cold. And uh, the Sephorno uh, talks about the idea of the tabernacle, the Mishkan, he says, as being somewhat of a downgrade. He says, because really... This place where the divine presence should rest, the place where God should ultimately be found, is in every single home. Like Sarah's tent, which had the various miracles of the temple, were manifested in Sarah's tent. He says every Jewish home ultimately should be a tabernacle, should be a temple, should be a place where God is resting and the divine presence can be seen. And the fact of the matter is, that's uh, the fact that God instead ruled that we should have a tabernacle where basically that's where the divine presence was. He says that was a downgrade. He says that was, no, that was a, uh, something which was a result of our sins, etc. But ideally, we should have had every home as the tabernacle. But we can still achieve that. Um, we can still achieve it. The Zohar, for example, says that the degree of divine presence in the home, the Shekhinah, rests in the home. It is directly proportional to the degree of joy and happiness between husband and wife. And I think we also know that the Shekhinah, the divine presence, the Gemara says, the Talmud says, only rests in a place where there is simcha, where there is joy. So if our homes are places of joy, of happiness, of warmth, there's happiness between husband and wife and between the siblings and the parents and children, that's really a place where we're creating the divine presence. So um, even though we don't have a, sh a tabernacle, we don't have the Mishkan today, we don't have the base of Mikdash today, but we have an opportunity to create something very much like that in every one of our homes. Have a great Shabbos, it's Mordechai Becher and Gateway's Parsha Vlog.